Brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Many of you were here last night for the vigil service and the evening service, and we rejoice that uh, we were able to fill the church last night for that divine service. And again today, to have so many of our brothers and sisters together with us to celebrate this, this great feast day. Of all the great feast days throughout the year, we follow the life of our Lord Jesus Christ and we try to bring our life into accord with that life of Christ. This is why the Holy Church has given us the cycle for the liturgies for the whole year to follow the path of our Lord Jesus Christ in this world beginning with the birth of his mother, the preparation of the throne, so as it were. We very often think of the birth of the Theotokos as being like the, the preparation of the throne, because the preparation of the earthly throne of the heavenly king, who would, by God's miracle, take up his abode within the most holy Theotokos. <coughs> and when we celebrate that feast day, and we come to the Annunciation when the angel proclaimed to Mary that she would give birth to the Son of the Living God. We realize that at that moment God himself was incarnate in the Virgin. And this is supposed to teach us that our Lord Jesus Christ can somehow spiritually be incarnate in us, that he can dwell within our hearts as he dwelt within the womb of the Virgin, and that he can transform us as he transformed her. And this day when we celebrate the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, we above all should think of the preparation of the throne, the preparation of a throne for the heavenly King in our own hearts, and strive to prepare that throne so that the King of glory can come and take his place there where he desires to take his place in the hearts of each one of us. And through the radiance of his glory, and through his compassionate love, and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, to change us, as we say in the hymn today, in place of the Holy God, everyone who has been baptized into Christ has put on the image of Christ, has taken upon them Christ himself. And in the beginning, in the creation, we hear that the Holy Spirit hovered above the waters, and we know that life came forth from the waters. And when we come to holy baptism, why is it that Christ said to be born again of water and the Spirit? Not just of the Spirit, but of water and the Spirit. Because as He created in the beginning, with the Holy Spirit hovering over the water, in the baptismal water, the Holy Spirit again hovers over the water and enters into the water and brings forth new life that were truly born again in holy baptism by the grace of the Holy Spirit just as God created life in the very beginning of our earth. And now he calls upon us on this day on the nativity of Christ. What good is it just to commemorate the birth of Christ? We can commemorate anything and it doesn't mean a lot simply that we remember. But simply to commemorate the birth of Christ is not enough. 
but to try to enter into the life of Christ on this day. To try to allow our Lord Jesus Christ to enter into our lives on this day. To open our hearts that our Lord Jesus Christ might enter into us and begin the work of purifying us and making us fit for the heavenly kingdom. The Orthodox Church is not in this world to send anyone to heaven or anyone to hell. The Orthodox Church is here to prepare us for that day when we will come face to face with the glory of God. And so in every divine liturgy we should realize that we come face to face with the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and that this divine liturgy and Holy Communion are really there to prepare us for that day when we come face to face with His glory and love in the age to come. And this Nativity of Christ, not just a commemoration, but a, an event in history, an event that fills history, an event that fills the present, and an event in the future which fills our future. So today, let us not think that we're commemorating the birth of Christ, but that we're participating in the birth of Christ, that Christ should be born anew in our own hearts and in our conscience and in our minds. Today, we are present truly at the incarnation of the living God at the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And let us rejoice that our Lord Jesus Christ desires to make each one of us, his brothers and his sisters, children of the living God, and to take up his abode in us, so that paradise, the kingdom of heaven, can actually be present in our own hearts. And already in this life, we can experience something of paradise and something of the heavenly kingdom that gives us hope and strength to carry on let our Lord Jesus Christ therefore be incarnate today in every heart, in every mind, and let every heart become the dwelling place of the King of Glory, and not only a manger cave, but the heavenly kingdom paradise itself. Amen.